Hello again, boys and girls. Our new story today is called Macduff Comes Home by Rosemary Wells and illustrated by Susan Jeffers. This is one of my favorite books as it's based on a real dog that used to live in a bookstore in my hometown. Macduff Comes Home. Macduff's corner of the garden was just under the kitchen where he could hear the voices of the people he loved. There, Macduff relaxed and breathed in all the wonderful smells that escaped from the window. The snappy smell of Fred's frying sausages and the velvety smell of Lucy's vanilla rice pudding. One day, the window was closed. There was nothing to smell or hear. Suddenly, Macduff saw something move in the neighbor's garden. It was a fat rabbit. Zoom! went the rabbit through the zinnias. Macduff squeezed through the fence after it. His collar and tag caught on the fence. Snap! went his collar and it fell off behind him. The rabbit zigzagged over the neighbor's lawn and whizzed across the street. Macduff zigzagged and whizzed too. Over hills and streets and flower beds, the rabbit scurried and skedaddled with Macduff right on its tail until it found a hole and shot in. Macduff could not follow. Macduff was so tired from chasing the rabbit that he lay down in someone's vegetable garden and fell asleep. When Macduff woke up, he looked around. He could not see his kitchen window. He could not smell sausages or vanilla rice pudding. He could not hear any voices he knew. Mrs. Higgins came out to weed her garden. Who's that under my eggplant? she asked. Mrs. Higgins looked for Macduff's collar and tag and could not find them. We will go to the police station, she said, and see if anyone is there to pick you up. Mrs. Higgins drove Macduff up Main Street and down Pine Road and over the bridge to Oak Lane. Suddenly, Macduff smelled vanilla and rice pudding. Woof, said Macduff. Miss Higgins turned left. Then, Macduff heard someone he loved calling his name. Woof, said Macduff. She turned right. Then, he saw his own house at number seven Elm Road. Lucy and Fred were calling for him. Woof, woof, he said, and Miss Higgins stopped. His collar is gone, said Lucy. How did you know where to bring him? I guess I understand dog language, she said. Everyone was hungry. Lucy made some apple pie and sandwiches. Fred gave Macduff his favorite treat, a small dish of vanilla rice pudding with a sausage sliced on top. The end. I loved reading that story with you boys and girls. I can't wait to read with you tomorrow and I hope you've been listening in to remember what school was like and we're gonna have a fantastic time for the next few weeks, okay? I'll see you in the next video. Bye.